I don't have any more trulies. I have I have all these high noons, but I can't do it. I do. I can't do high noons anymore. I can't. I thought I was good, so I bought a pack, and then no, nah, I took I drank one the other day, and like I. There's trauma with high news, that's all I'm gonna say. All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be watching you, episode six. Episode six. So in the last episode, Joe got, he kinda ran up on Peach and hit her in the back of the head with a rock. So he thought he killed her and everything, but then, you know, Bex calls him and she's like, oh my God, Peach was struck and everything. And he's like, oh, that's terrible. And then she's like, yeah, she's in the hospital right now. I'm gonna go and see her. And he's like, oh, she's alive. Yeah, so I'm excited. I'm excited to see how this plays out. I don't think she knows it was Joe for sure, but I think she's gonna assume it is. Not a bad guess, honestly, by her if she does assume it's him. I'm excited to see how this goes. So, anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're gonna hop right into this episode. If you like, if you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that will be available on Patreon. As well. early access to the next two episodes of you will also be available on Patreon. So, let's get started. She's obsessed. She wants you all to herself. You are now. She's alive. Mm-hmm. Some humans, Beck, are cancer. Peach is stage four metastatic. She knows it was me. And it's mm -hmm. over. Well, there's no proof that... She can't prove he did it. It's just... It's all just an assumption. I mean, she's not wrong, but there's no way to prove he actually did it. How are you feeling, Peach? <laughs> she's gonna call him out. <laughs> I'm on to you. Play the gormless ne'er-do-well and yet. And yet. It was you. You're the one that warned me. I have a stalker. Okay. We're trying to figure she, out who it is. Okay, she got us there. Okay, she got us. She got us pretty good right there. Finally understanding the dark side of celebrity. Of his beauty. You're not a celebrity, you damn narcissist. Hey. Hmm. That's what I'm gonna. No, she's really on to him, though. Sorry to interrupt. <sighs> Always interrupt. She's jealous. Male energy in my healing space just isn't optimal. Oh my god. Alright. I'm asking Joseph to leave us. She, she's so jealous of Joe. He has back. Hmm. Two tickets, first class. I underestimated what? her. She's not thinking oh. about. She's busy making you all hers forever. Yeah. Honestly, I hate how Peach plays victim so hard. Like it's so obvious what she's doing, and it. Ugh. Hey, Joe. Oh. Did something wrong? And I know how it sounds, but I feel like it changed. I'm like, once. Um. Yeah. yeah sure. And I'm not gonna press charges. Yeah, only for Paco. It's the only reason why he's not. <laughs> Fuck her hot. <laughs> and what about school? What about us? So she almost died. But not quite. <laughs> but risking your future for the same person who tried to sabotage your career. Go. I mean, it's a, it's a little crazy. In the world, would she? Because want to... you. She she's upset. She wants you all to herself. Become your own person. She won't be able to control you. Exactly. Well, Beck doesn't understand that, like, how obsessed Peach is over her and stuff like that. It was like a show. She was never in any real thing. Act herself in the park? No. No, no. That one, that one was me, but, like... She's in love with you. You know that, right? She doesn't know that. I gotta go. Beck, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, wait a minute. No, it's fine. Thank you for being on it. <sighs> okay, Greenwich. That's where this stops. Connecticut's Gold Coast land. Oh my god, we're going. Like that, the internet gods provide. Only. <laughs> oh my god, he's gone. Take him all the time with Candace. It'd be nice to make new. He used to follow Candace then around. Oh my god. I feel like you're gonna end up seeing Candace soon. She's gonna pop up at like the least expected moment. This time, this time, I finish it. Oh no. I'm coming back. I'm. <gasps> oh shit. <laughs> Oh shit, oh shit. Oh, great song, great song. Is this in his head? Candace. Yeah, it's in his head, man. Damn, is he still in love with Candace? Oh, fuck. I mean, he, he can play this off pretty easy. I was robbed. Robbed? Mm. By who? 
if I was actually if I was actually robbed, how the fuck would I know? You know? Like how would you know who robbed you? You know, it would just be some random person. Like what? Put your hands on the Buick, sir. Take off your glasses, please. See how fucked up his face is. It will happen to you. Well, I mean it makes sense if he was robbed, he'd beat my ass. Like You gonna tell me what happened to your face? Dude, I got my ass beat. Like by this robber. What are you doing? Just eating breakfast. I was starving. <laughs> And I don't know, I guess I got inspired by the memory. It's easy to forget sometimes. Mm. Yeah, Beg's gonna realize Joe's right, how she's in love with her. Then we can top it off with a matinee. What do you say? I don't know, it sounds like a lot. I'm kinda tired. Yeah, she, Peach wants to do all this stuff with her. Beck's here to look after Peach or whatever. So it doesn't, if Peach, you know, Peach is fine, but she's like pretend, she's like using this as a, an excuse to spend more time with Beck. But it's like, Peach, if you really need to be recovering, then you shouldn't be doing all that extra shit. You should be at home resting, you know? It's obvious what she's doing. Well, I'm gonna have to go run your plate. I'm gonna let you get home to your wife. Must be nice to be married to a doctor. You get out on the water much, officer? Listen, be our guest next summer. The old man's mm. bringing the yacht. Azimut 62S. Just decided I'm a rich tool and of no mm. consequence to the health and safety of his jurisdiction. The plates. You know, okay. maybe she should just get home, get some rest. He's right. That was smart by Joe. That was smart. Such a quick thinker, dude. He might run his plates anyway. Oh, yep, he's writing it down so he can run it. Yep. Well, I wasn't planning to break in, but if you're going to leave the back door wide open. Oh, um, uh, my head. Oh, uh, yeah, bro. You probably have a concussion, dog. Oh, shit. <gasps> oh, it's Candace again. Wow. Yeah, this concussion is making him see Candace. I'm so glad we got away together like this. Dude, I have a feeling he, like, accidentally killed her. Because, like, I don't know. He said she moved to Rome, right? Whatever. To another country. And it's just like, well, it's something he would make up because knowing him, he probably accidentally killed her or something like that. And now that he has a concussion, like he's seeing her again. And so maybe he just, it's a guilt kicking in or something. <clears throat> Bro, are you really going to try and watch her as she takes a bath? Like, dog, you gotta get, you gotta get out of here. You got, like. Yeah, he's really gonna try and stalk her from here. Like, dude, no. I want to give you a life this grand someday. God knows you deserve it. Peach is gonna, like, find his blood somewhere. And she's gonna be like, what the fuck, you know? And it's gonna, like, she's gonna know he's here somehow. Like, not. And then, she's gonna, then, like, she won't find, she won't catch him. But later on, she'll see how, like, bloody he is or something. And then. Oh, shit, yeah. Mm. Oh, she's spying on Peach, too. Wow. Dude, they're both spying on Beck, I mean. I meant to say Beck. <laughs> How dare she invade your privacy like that? Joe! It's li you're literally, literally a hypocrite. <laughs> but if I said Peach, I meant, I meant Beck. Oh my God, mother! I mean, it's a, it's his concussion, I guess. That made him think that was a good idea. Oh my God! He's gonna leave it there. Mm. Ooh. Back didn't hear that. All right. Yeah, just scare the fuck out of Peach. Let her know maybe I was here. Distract her, make her stop looking at Beck too. But also let her know. Oh shit, a gun. Bro, I guarantee you she would kill Joe. She saw him here, she's shooting him. Joe, why are you still in the house? Who is that? Um, uh, it's the surprise. She has a gun, Beck. You have to do something. 80% of gun <laughs> accident. Dude, watch, it's a Peach dressing you up like a yeah, she invited dudes over, and that's why. This thing, what's my surprise? Surprises dudes. Oh, yep. Oh my god, Raj. 
Hey, oh, she knows this guy. Oh, yeah. Peach is gonna try and get back to fuck this dude. Oh. <laughs> Joe's gonna tweak. He's gonna tweak so hard. How we said no phones? Sorry. It's just my brother. Nah. That's <laughs> not just your brother. This is where his trauma started. <laughs> it's funny what sticks in your brain. Dude, he's gonna just be like zoned out and he's gonna get caught because he's, he's not paying attention. Well, I thought it'd be fun. What yeah, happens you to you not wanting to be around a threesome? male energy? I feel much better now. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, only when Joe's around you feel that way. Cousin Inez finally vacated the Paris flat and oversee the renovation. She had a pet ocelot. There was damage. Wait, you're moving to Paris? Yeah, I'm not moving to Paris, dog. We are moving to Paris, Shari. No. <laughs> Peach is trying so hard to get her away from Joe. Say so you'll think about it. No. Okay. Okay. I mean, yeah, you can do stuff like this when you have money. Or no, you have your parents' money. <laughs> Some, oh, what did they take? Like acid or molly or whatever? You take with utter blind trust in you. Mm. Pure MDMA. So oh, latest dash over comes step two and fight no, this uh, Raj person over, fill you with drugs and catch you to cheat on me. Yep. It's not in there. Peach probably has it on her. I'm not. This is real. She had a gun somewhere. Feel how soft this feels. Bruh. <laughs> oh, there it is. Watch, oh, Joe's just gonna fire it. Oh no, 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 where are they going? Platonic massage string. No. I no, this is not a platonic massage string. No. Oh, Joe's under the vet. Uh. Rock bottom. Because. Oh, fuck, they can totally see him in the mirror. Fuck. Do you see now? Dog, they can see you too. If they look. Back. She's Candace, though. Why Candace followed me here? It's like it's a coincidence, Beck. You and she are nothing alike. Maybe you are. I can't tell anymore. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, so Candace broke his damn heart, but she cheated on him. Don't you want to run? <laughs> Way too far. Yes. I said my boyfriend. Yes, yes. You, my perfect girl. Yes, Beck, yes. Oh, I don't. Me neither. Okay, you could do whatever you want. You two could do whatever you want. I don't give a fuck. Peach, really. Good, good. I'm proud of Peach. I'm very proud of her. I mean, I'm proud of Beck. Proud of Beck. I have something. Hi. Oh, she hit up Joe. I love to I see that. I'm done being mad at you now. Yes. Love to see that. I don't want to go to Paris. Yes. I knew it. Okay. Anyway. Oh. Things can always get worse. Want this? I don't I want it. Oh, Peach wants to peg him. But not as boned as Raj is about to be. Oh, God, that's interesting. Yeah, Peach is very dominant. Uh, I feel like Colonel Kurtz. Damn, he was there all night. You got me through the long night. My mantra, you miss me. That made, it, that made him so happy. Dude, okay, Joe, you gotta get the fuck out of here, dog. You can't just hide in this house in this house forever. Like, the, you're gonna get caught. You're gonna slip up and you're gonna get caught if you stay here too long. Another two days. Yeah, about that. <clears throat> I'm going back to the city. Great. You have stuff to wrap up and then Paris. No, not going with you. Give up. I'm asking you to take a leap of faith. I mean, do you want to be an artist or an institutionalized cliche? You're asking me to quit. No, now you're gonna talk shit on me because I said I rejected you. Okay. For like five seconds. I'm just saying that. Do yourself a favor. Have some self esteem and lose a creepy retail loser. Do we have to go there? I'm just being real. Okay, you wanna be real? No, you're not being real. You're being a bitch. What was what? You kissed me. We were all rolling. You always do this. What? What do I do? do I Call you out on your shit? Like. You were leaning into me and quite frankly being very initiating. What? And I went with it. Bro, such a victim. 
Bro, Peach is up there with Joffrey. Like, what? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I know your family. I know how they are. Mm. I know they wouldn't be okay. No, no. I'm sorry. You have issues. Okay, I have issues. I'll leave you alone. See ya. For attention about me. This entire conversation is insane. Okay, bye. Like, I came here to take care of you. Of me? Oh, that's rich. It really is. God, Peach. Dude, I'm just, no, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't listen to this, dude. I can't listen to Peach do, say all. No. It's trash. Joe is nothing. You're my family. I'd die for you. Would he? Yes. Heartbeat. <laughs> yes. No doubt about that. You're just going to abandon me when I need you the most? Oh, my God. Bro. Stalker. I'll text you the number of a private security company. Call them. Mm-hmm. I can't believe you. After all I do for you. Oh my God. You just use people. Shut the fuck up. You literally told me you you don't want to deal with this or whatever exactly what you said. Like, okay, I'm leaving. Bye. Like, and mm -hmm. you make cheating a distant memory. And right now, I mm -hmm. love you so much. The ringing in my head is music. Hey. Jesus. <gasps> oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Stupid. I'm not cheating on you. He's an A and R guy. <sighs> You're lying. You cheated on me. Way would mellow you out, but you're jealous. You're paranoid. You need help. Get mm -hmm. <gasps> oh God. Joseph. <gasps> oh shit! I fucking knew it. I knew it. Mm. I knew he was gonna get caught lacking like that. Like, come on, Joe. And now Peach has a gun. Oh my God. I shot this Medusa when I had the chance. <sighs> Peach. I'd be totally within my rights to shoot you right now. I... My God. <clears throat> you. You are my stalker. Oh, I knew something was off about you and I was right. How long have you been obsessed with me? Not obsessed with you. Not exactly like that. At this point, I'm convinced you attacked me in the park. What? He attacked you to protect Bag Boy. You know? Why are you here? Peach, why are you? Mm-hmm. I know what you're doing. Yeah. This is about Vic, isn't it? <laughs> what you said to her. You got in her head. Because you can't stand to share her with somebody so much better than you. No. Why are you wearing Benji's watch? Uh. <laughs> You're right. I, I stole your laptop. I found all the files. The ones with the naked pics of Beck? Mm -hmm. Yeah, get, get off that. Get off that watch and beat it as fast as you can. The link to your entire address book, and we can walk away from this. I love you the way you love her. Stop saying that. She's never gonna do it. You can't have her. Stop saying uh, that! Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, she's. Oh, did she get him in the leg? Oh my god, she fucking did! He's pretending he's dead. Yep. Yep, so you can get her. Yep. Who? Someone choose one. Oh. The rest. Forgive me for this. <gasps> but it's no. not like you can say you didn't see this coming. He killed Peach. What could I do? She was never going to let you go. <sighs> go ahead. Oh no, this cop. Cars registered to an Ivan Mooney. Address in Manhattan. Yeah, his dad, or the, the dude who owned the bookstore, whatever. You know what I mean. Like who mentored Joe and everything? Yeah, I don't know. This cop's gonna try and hunt down Joe because he knows who he he knows what he looks like and everything. Like, I know you did it. I know you killed her. I uh, took your advice. I kicked Ron out. Oh, bet. Let's go. Love that for you. Like, the way he was treated, Paco. Yes. Kid needs a real father figure in his life, not some drunken asshole. You know. Mm-hmm. Joe. Oh my God. Peach died. <laughs> we'll find you're better off without her. Yeah, but it's, I mean, like, yeah, you might be a better off, but it does suck that your friend just died. Like, that's still really shitty, and that does still make her feel like shit. Because, like, they're still pretty good friends. Like, look at her. She's, she's... Joe? Yeah, she needs Joe. Yeah. Can't you stay? Yep. Of course, my love. 
All right, well, that was episode six. This episode was crazy. This episode was crazy. All right, so did Peach deserve to die? No, not at all. Not at all. She did not deserve to die. She didn't deserve to die at all. Thinking about it, she wasn't that bad of a friend to Peach. I mean, to Beck. She wasn't that bad of a friend to Beck. She did a lot for Beck, actually. It's just kind of a manipulative, though, to be honest. Like, she's kind of like Beck's sugar mama. Like, sugar mommy, if anything, really. Like, yeah, she kind of did fuck her over in, like, her career and everything. But... <laughs> and so Peach got her to herself. I mean, as long as, like... Like, she won't let Beck grow out into her own person, you know? She has to stay with her. It's so, like, that's, like, the worst thing she does. Which is it's pretty fucked up. But does she need to die because of it? No. I don't think so. And, like, she's a very manipulative friend who plays victim a lot. That's a, but like, that's the worst thing she does. It's not like she's murdering people and stealing money from everyone. You know, it's not like she's doing something horrible like that. Like if anything, like Joe has done a lot worse than she has. So, but yeah, Joe, so Joe killed two of Beck's friends just so he could, just to protect Beck or whatever. This fucker's crazy, dude. <sighs> I love it. You know, and that cop is onto him now and he was at the, the scene of the crime and everything with Peach. And he's like, hmm, I ran into someone earlier today, like yesterday who, kind of sus too so he's gonna call it in he did give him you know he did show up as ivan mooney which you know is his which isn't joe but now he's gonna go to that area and kind of like investigate it kind of but as soon as the cop sees his face he's gonna know or whatever so i can't wait for that that's gonna be really interesting i mean peach she did make the show more interesting i will miss her a little bit but then joe also you know he got visions of candace and everything how beck was kind of reminding him of candace and like what happened with that but then she proved to not be like candace a little bit later like in the middle of the episode by choosing to not cheat on him which gave joe a lot of relief you know he's like thank god it's not happening again so i feel like candace is kind of like i feel okay obviously there's something wrong with joe obviously he's been like this his entire life but i feel like it really started to pick up with candace and candace really triggered it and that's when it became like a problem i think like so far we don't know if candace is alive or not i'm assuming the show wants us to think she is but i feel like she's just gonna be dead it's so like the flashbacks not the yeah, like the flashbacks of him seeing her in his head and everything. Like, that's the closest we're going to get to seeing her. But then again, like, I could totally see her just, like, bu like being a like Joe. Oh, my God. And f with him and Beck or something. But I doubt it. No, I think Angela's is dead. I think she's dead. That's why he said she, like, moved or whatever. Because, you know, Joe makes up. He makes stuff up a lot. He's very good at bullshitting. So, I think he, I think she, he accidentally killed her somehow. Like, she was cheating on him. He, uh... He did something insane and it ended up killing her by accident. So that's my guess with Candace and everything. So, but yeah, that was you episode six. Comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments. If you liked the video, like the video and thanks for watching.